So pretty. The packaging. Look Sleek at that. Black. Oh, look at all that. It's like Junk Monkey colors except for your face, right? Hey guys, it is Sonia and Kate. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I kind of like, you could have just introduced yourself. I right? know. <laughs> Do it. Tell them who you are. I'm Kate. I am Sonia's right-hand girl is That's yours what I always here. Say. Right? Yes, say. absolutely. What would I do without Kate, right? So today is going to be a special vlog up here because me and Kate have talked about this for a long time, getting together, playing in makeup. So playing in makeup is like, you know, playing with makeup on furniture. And this is Kate's entire world. So right now I can tell I'm looking down at this. Do you want to show them what you have yeah. in front of you? It's pretty amazing. So um, I recently got the James Charles X Morphe palette. I love the... It's so pretty. The packaging. Sleek black. Oh, look at all that. It's like Junk Monkey colors except for your face, right? So tonight, uh, Matt and I are getting ready to head out to a Christmas party tonight, you guys. If you heard, if you follow me for a while and heard me on here talk about it, I host a show on Armstrong Cable called Meet the Maker, travel all over the area, interview fabulous creatives and what they're up to. And tonight is a staff Christmas party. So Kate is going to help me create just a, maybe like a holiday Christmassy, yeah, a Christmas glamish, book. pretty kind of look. So yeah. I just jumped out of the shower. My hair is still wet. So I'm going to let her play with, uh, you know, this is what I call brownie brownie furniture, right? Before you get started <laughs> with it, you know? All right, Kate, my face is all yours. Just, just to put it out there, I am not a professional makeup artist. Oh, come on. I You've just, seen I'm, your eye looks. They're I beautiful. Love, I love just putting makeup on and playing with it and playing more and more with it. You tend to understand it more. Yes. So with Sonya, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show the colors so that... What I'm going to be doing with her after we, you know, bake the face and everything, we're going to be putting this brown here in the inner, like, not inner corner, but outer corner of her eye, and then put the nice red on. Um, don't have the names with me, so I'm sorry okay, about nice that. Nice red sounds good. Yeah. Um, when I look at these colors, it kind of scares me because I love colorful furniture, but I have no idea how that's supposed <laughs> to go on your face. <laughs> And um, so then after the red, we're gonna do it like halfway on her eye and blend it out. And then put in this gold and this gold. Yeah. You already you have a show. plan of attack. You know exactly, this gold, right? This gold right here. See, I'm glad you have the vision. I have a vision for furniture. For furniture. This right here, I love my Epsi. My Epsi sends me stuff every single month and I get to play with it, so. All right, but when they send me colors like this, I have no idea what to do with it. So, all right, I am a blank slate. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to ask Sonya to do is just put moisturizer on her face first okay. off. Oh, right. so, happy pores equals a happy looking face. Ooh. So, we want to keep like everything. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try this new moisturizer that I Epsi sent me. It's called Answer From, and it says Black Volume Gold Radiance Cream, Intense Hydration for all, all skin types. All right. So I'm gonna put a little bit out here. You're supposed to be very gentle and eat the eyes, right? I guess so. Yeah, you don't beat them. This is real life, people. Another use for the Junk Monkey head wrap. So we are going to put on the foundation with a sponge. I like little sponges like this. Whenever I use brushes, I notice brush marks, so I just stay away from that. Um, here's your. And foundation. I saw you like get this wet before. Yes, it is important to wet your sponge it will not work as well if you do not wet it so ask me how i know whenever um how do you know have you done it <laughs> yeah and i'm like i don't know if i really like this sponge thing. <laughs> i just realized like you're supposed to wet it first yeah you are okay um, it expands too so oh you'll, you'll that. notice that it was like a yeah. little bit smaller epsi sent me this uh in recent months so i just make use of what they send me right for 10 bucks a month i'll put my link below guys if you want to grab uh Use my refer friend link. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yep. Do what you gotta do. Yeah. All right. I don't want to punch you too hard, but uh, whatever you're, you're using, fine. you can take out all your stress on your boss, right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Your foundation was meant to be on that hard. So whenever you, is Matt here? I think Matt's coming. Yep. Um. Whenever... Hey, Matt. Yeah. All right. Just make sure it's you. <laughs> Whenever you put on foundation with a sponge, you kind of just beat it into your face. Mm, it's kind of relaxing. We're playing Jeffree Star and James Charles right now. You probably don't want to be here, Matt. This might be really girly for you. <laughs> I notice you're going down to the neck. 
Yes, it's so important to blend your foundation in with your neck. And a lot of, um, what I've noticed watching YouTube videos, this is how I know my makeup expertise so far, is you match, like you color match with your neck. Because mm -hmm. your face, it's, it's farther out than the rest of your, like, your face is farther out than your neck, so it's going to get more sun than right. your neck. So if you match mm -hmm. with just your face, your face will be orange, but your neck will be white. That makes sense. So yeah. it, it just, it doesn't look good. You'll see like a clear line. <laughs> so it's always just best to blend everything in. Not like right now. Being back in high school when you'd like, you <laughs> really did not know how to use makeup. Yeah. For example, like right now. I'm not wearing any makeup, and you can see how much darker my face is compared to my neck. Yep. It's, that's how it... <sighs> okay. Life, real life. <laughs> Another important tip, whenever you're putting foundation on, it's best to blend into your hair, not necessarily get the foundation on your hair, but so that there's a clear, distinct line from your scalp to your forehead. Hey Matt, did you find a nice shirt? Yeah, I got it. Cool. Poor Matt doesn't have a clean shirt to wear to the Christmas party that doesn't have paint on it. Or the words <laughs> junk monkey. <laughs> nice. I like that one on you. It's quite relaxing. I enjoy it when I like get my hair done. I could sit in the barber, not the barber, but you know, the hairdresser chair forever. Yeah. Be like, yeah, sure, just cut more, just cut more. Because it's just, I don't want to leave your chair. So we're going to use my contour kit because I love this little sm smash box little contour kit. It's not even a full contour kit. It only has one contour shade, which is right here. And then like a bronzer shade, which I don't really mess with bronzers. And then all here are all uh, highlighters, which we will use as well. I'm glad she knows what to do with that thing. <laughs> Contours always, it looks like a darker brown, but it actually comes off very um, cool on you. So because we're fair, we're fair skinned. And then another, another recommendation that I do whenever I um, do contour, I kind of do the fish lips? Yeah, because then you're supposed to contour where you're like, right underneath your cheekbones, so it's just supposed to define it more. Okay. okay. So like, yeah, do that. I'm gonna give credit to Kim Kardashian with this, but she, whenever she does contour, she's actually the queen of contour, her and her uh, makeup artists, they were the ones that really came out with contour. Um, they call it the number three. So whenever you do your contour, <laughs> You go here, to here, to here. So it, it looks like the oh, number three. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So Good that's tip. what I will be. I'm going to start going to your forehead. Okay. So normally whenever you go to your forehead, it's mainly to make your forehead look smaller. So like, if you have a big forehead, you can always contour the heck out of it and give the illusion of mm. a smaller forehead. Yeah, now I just need to blend it in a bit more. Okay. But you can see how this side has a little bit. We blend in. You're feeling skinnier lovely. already. <laughs> Forget keto, just go. <laughs> okay. Now here's the fun part where. I don't know if you guys have ever heard this term before where people are like, okay, it's time for me to bake. And it's like, why are you baking in uh, makeup? Yes. So what you do is, this is Kat Von D's uh, setting powder. So this little edge right here you can see on the sponge, I'm going to put into the baking powder or setting powder. And then what I do with this is, look this way, kind of carve out where you want to make a sharp line. So you can see how there, that is very defined on Sonia. Do you have concealer? I do. Yep. I'm pretty sure I got this stuff called tape, I think it is. Okay, that's what Shape it was. tape. Yeah, I think Shape tape's the best concealer. Epsi 
sent it to me. I'm like, dang. So it should be in here. Give we could always put it, I mean, like. Let me see what I can find. Normally whenever I, whenever I put I makeup first. on. Yeah? Normally whenever I put makeup on, I put my concealer on and then my contour. It just slipped my mind. So we're just going to do contour. You can still put concealer on. I, just, I noticed that whenever I was going to bake your concealer. And I'm like, wait. Okay. There is it. There it is. is that it? That's you it. recognize yeah. it. I haven't even used this. Oh, well, it's yet. very nice. It's a very pretty pattern. Oh my goodness. I've never used this concealer before, but it really? I've heard so many good reviews. All of my favorite beauty gurus use it. Ooh. Thank you for Epsy for sending this to me. Yeah, honestly. Okay. So whenever you put on concealer, should really? it be looking up or anything? No. No. Okay. Normally whenever you put on concealer, you put it underneath your eyes. So any dark spots on your face, or if you have any blemishes or red spots, you can put them there too. Um, it would just make... The only reason I wouldn't use concealer on blemishes is because it will just make a certain part of your face um, a lot more brighter than the rest of your foundation. The concealer, the whole point of it is to brighten. So whenever you get concealer, you normally get a color that's not too much lighter, but lighter than your foundation. So it doesn't blend, but you definitely don't want it to be darker so that you don't have dark spots on your face. So how I put um, concealer on Sonia, Sonia, you can look into the camera. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the moment. <laughs> it's like face paint, more paint. Um, this, this is, is how, look. this is how I, <laughs> I'm just laughing at the baking and the concealer. I'll be memorable at the Christmas, <laughs> Christmas party tonight. <laughs> the way I'm putting concealer on Sonya is the way that I put it on myself. So I'm sure it will treat her the same way in a, in a good way of it making your face brighter right on the middle of your nose, right under your eyes, so like your eye bags. And then I also noticed that it's nice to have like a little bright, like little bright mm. tower right here okay. um and then also on your nose because your nose kind of gets overshadowed by your mouth true so we're gonna just hit this in too mm -hmm. look at that look at how bright your under eyes are oh my goodness gracious oh wow okay done and you're gonna see me use this again. I put a little bit of the setting powder here. I like blending in the contour with the foundation and I learned this from Jeffree Star's channel. Whenever you put setting powder on top of contour, it's called veiling it. It just softens it up a bit and I'm going to be doing that later on because you can see how harsh like the dark line is. But once everything's all cleaned up and blended together, it should look a lot better. So we're also going to put the bake on. Use that. Put bake onto your. Uh... I am going to try this thing that I got in my Epsi. It's called a brow wand. So we'll see. And it has the edge, like a nice chiseled edge on it, right there. So there we go. Not bad. I need like eyebrow stencils. Yeah, there are some. Okay. All right. So. Moving on. Now what we're going to do is contour your nose since I forgot to do that. You see how like, even though I haven't shaded it yet, you can see how much smaller your nose looks. Illusion. I know, right? It's a little funny nose. I like it. Okay. So now we're just going to blend everything out. So the next thing I'm going to do is just put some blush on you. Now just smile like super hard. So you can see where that blush is compared to your other side. Yep. Oh, look at that. And it's CoverGirl. It's backwards right now on the camera. But um, it's a fun little, what's the word? What's the color? It's called a little French. drugstore. Really? It's called... Uh, Peach punch. Peach punch. Blush. Peach punch. Look for that. I like whenever, that color. Yeah, whenever you see it in store, it looks a lot... Here, let me take this off. It looks a lot darker than the one next to it, but the one next to it comes out a lot more bronzy. So this one's the one I recommend for, like, fair skin. And it does say peach scented. 
Oh yes, it smells very nice. How does that look to you? I love it. Oh my goodness. That like, this whole like contour and blush and everything, it looks so like sleek. I love it. I love it. So the next thing I'm going to be putting on Sonia is highlighter. And I use this kind of brush for highlighter again, Morphe. I love Morphe brushes. And um, I'm going to just be dipping into, it's hard to see, but I'm going to be dipping into this shade, which is a light shiny pink. And then this one's more of a summery pink. I also put some on my nose. Okay, now look at that highlight. Look like to the side, go like that. You can kind of see the shine right, mm -hmm. right, yep, right here. Look at that. That's such popping shine. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. Healthy glow. Yes. Now we're gonna finally get into onto the eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is a fun little trick. Trick. You know how whenever you uh, use painter's tape to like section things off so that you don't get paint on certain things that you don't want paint on. So what I do is I use tape and you just go from the bottom corner of your eye, follow your eye, to your eyebrow. So what this tape's for is whenever I put eyeshadow on, it will dust off onto the tape but whenever I peel it off it's like a nice clear sharp line and right before we dive into this fun palette another thing with this palette a lot of them are pigments they're different than eyeshadow so what you need is a good base so i use the Too Faced shadow insurance for 24 hours i don't know why you would be wearing makeup for 24 hours that's not good for your skin but this is supposed to help bring out the pigment in the shadows pigments for all those 24 hour raves and parties we go to. Yes. This goes on and on. Such Let's a party. See. So now that the pigment's on, you barely see it because it's supposed to blend into your skin. We are going to go in to the light brown that I showed earlier. So basically what this brown is supposed to be doing is going to give it the red a darker layout. So instead of just it being pure red, it's going to be red and then a little bit of darker undertones for it. So whenever you see this red go onto Sonya's eye, you're going to see how red it really is, how it comes out. And um, it's going to look a bit crazy at the moment because a lot of it's going to over lay onto the the tape right now but as soon as you take the tape off it's like finished look complete beautiful amazing uh i'm so excited okay now we're going to put the gold on there it is keep your eyes closed the one final color i'm going to put is right on sonya's inner corner so that the gold pops just a bit more and it's going to be this lighter highlighting kind of color and we're going to peel off the tape what color did you use on the inner corner so it's like um a highlighting kind of color pretty this one right here yes. You see that nice line? Mm hmm Now I'm just gonna blend everything out again, just so that, um, I'm just gonna use your old sponge. Alright, so let's add in some lipstick. Oh, look at those eyes! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's hard. <laughs> The eyeliner is on, and now I'm going to go back to the bathroom and put on this Black Magic Drama and Curl Mascara. Okay, so I'm happy with that. What do you think? I love it. 
I love having fun with that shadow. Mm, pretty. I like it. I like it. Is there anything else? Should I let my hair down? Yes, let your hair down. This is a big reveal. Oh, yeah. Still a little bit wet. But, oh, yeah. Look at that. Foxy. Not bad, Kate. I'm liking this. He's gonna be my regular uh, makeup artist. She just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> yeah, I would have never like put red on. But Red's it's such a fine fun color. Hello, babe. I'm playing with makeup. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just gonna go over here. I love it. Please take selfies. All right. Yeah. He runs away. I'm with you tonight, babe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fun. This guys, just doesn't. Don't understand the uh, fun that we have with makeup all right yay thank you this was fun i like it, was it. Fun. i love it all right i gotta do my hair i'll take the whole overall picture the last and most important thing that i almost forgot is setting spray so it's kind of like taking a shower so Ooh. that it stays everything stays on your face are you okay. ready yep close your eyes <sighs> got a bit of some drops since mine <laughs> is running out, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling refreshed. <laughs> oh, it feels good to your face, doesn't it? Yeah, it's right? a nice misting. Oh, let me see that. I'm gonna need to get that. Urban Decay. I've had this for over Ooh. two years now, and it's still it's just running out. Can you hear that? Oil free. Yes. Hmm. And it's all starting to like dry into my face. I can feel it. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Off to the party we go. So guys, this is my outfit tonight. I'm doing the obligatory uh, selfie, you know, in the mirror. So yay, I found this at, um, I think it was Peebles. I got a whole bunch of um, little, like these are supposed to be dresses. There ain't no way I'm wearing this as a dress. You know what I'm saying? But I like my little boots on with it and my junk monkey pants that I put on with it. Works awesome. Hey guys, it's Sonia and Map. We're sitting in the car outside of Walmart, and um, it's still raining. We finished the staff party. I'm gonna go home. It's Friday night, and Matt's gonna help me make like a really nice, just munchy. You know what do we usually do with our munchies? We do like a couple cups of different cheeses, some meats, green peppers, olives, nuts, just kind of like a smorgasbord of like munchy sort of food. And by the way. We both picked up some um, almonds tonight. If you've not tried these salt and vinegar bold blue diamond almonds, you're missing out. Uh, when I grew up in Canada, I would eat a lot of salt and vinegar chips. And now they have these um, really good ones. They came out with them like in the last few months. And I love, love, love the salt and vinegar. Matt is eating, he's picked himself up the smokehouse ones which are delicious. I've eaten so many of these. So because we came out tonight, we didn't get a chance to cook the chicken that we were going to do today on today's vlog. We forgot that the get together was tonight. So rather than like spend the entire day cooking the chicken and prepping and doing all that sort of stuff, we thought, you know what? Let's just go ahead. We get to dine out tonight together and then tomorrow we can cook in the kitchen. So stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog where I do believe there will be a chicken cooked finally. Right, Matt? So it is that time of the vlog where I love to go ahead, Matt's got the heat blasting over here, and I'm gonna need the butt warmers on full steam ahead. Let's go ahead and announce the winner from yesterday. I was giving away one of my matching, yes, we can be twinning, Shabby Rose notebooks. And that winner is, we were just sitting here reading through your comments, and in fact, we picked a name. Who was the name of that winner? Tammy Nash, you are our winner tonight. You have 24 hours to email me at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com to collect on your winnings. After that, this offer does expire and turn into a pumpkin. Tammy wrote in and here's what she said. She said, love y'all, sending love from South Haven, Mississippi. I'm really loving the recipes, can't wait to try them. Yay! Thank you, Tammy, for the love, me and Matt. I really appreciate it. your comment and everybody else's as well. Yes, we do read them all. And yes, there are much more DIYs around the shop, around the home, and the kitchen, of course, coming right here on this channel. What for grabs on tonight's video is $20 in big bananas, $20 in banana bucks, which basically is free money that you can use at junkmonkeypaint.com to get something that you really, really like. So you guys know what you have to do, right? Subscribe to this channel, like this video, 
and then leave us a comment below. Let us know what maybe you thought of this video. Let us know, I don't know where you guys are watching from. Let us know what your favorite part of today's vlog was. Let us know what the weather is like in your area. We just love to hear from you guys. See you guys tomorrow. See you guys.